We're going to Toad's apartment. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence after. Okay. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. Yeah, fuck. That dagger's probably gonna be missing by the time we get there. Not the best case scenario. And we ended up going out the window and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Looks worse than the day. It took us all night just to get here? Hey, Woody. Hey! Wait here. Okay. Where'd he go? Shit. So this is worst case scenario. We're not gonna catch the fucker who is here. And we're probably gonna be in trouble at fucking Lawrence's apartment. Fuck. I'm sorry! That's enough, alright? Just shut it! I don't even remember half of this shit. Well, we caused it. Should probably get that fixed. What else is there in this apartment to look at? Anything? Woodsman never did much reading anyway. What kind of asshole swings a lamp at a guy? <laughs> An angry woodsman, I guess. Look at a big hole in the wall. Hmm. All right. Why is she crying? What is Toad doing? Is that his son? Toads, I think. Be nice in there, okay? I'm always nice. I'm a cheery motherfucker. <laughs> Big B! And Miss White! Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Toad. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought it was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, full I saw off. someone. There was someone, but they took off when we got here. Is that right? I guess your dad's ears have a year or two left. Haven't gone totally to the dogs, eh? What are you hiding? Are you all right? He's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna? So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. I'll, I'll leave, leave when I'm ready. When I'm ready, Toad. I just want to check things out first. The longer you talk, the longer this takes. So just stand over there and shut all up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Whew. Grown-ups. Am I right? Uh... Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? It has a weevil. Cool. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. What's your problem, Toad? Now this happened. Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. 
Or the boy was faffing about, playing sods and swordfish. Who knows with the lad? All right. All right. You clearly had time to plug something else in. There's a stain here, Toad. You bleeding? Why? Is that it's blood? Still fresh. Oh, well, I cut me end. <laughs> Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Lamp in pieces, blood on the wall. It's awful, I know. Sounds painful. Oi, don't you go mother ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks have been a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. Show me your hand. Your hand's just in your pocket, bro. What are you hiding? What is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened, no. I... There's marks here on the windowsill. And what's that about? No real reason. Hmm? Just last night, when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And <laughs> I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Oh, yeah? Really? Scared Junior off to death. Hmm. You're hiding something from me, Toady boy. I know it. I just don't know what yet. And what happened here? The poker? What of it? There's more it's fucking blood covered in blood. This happened before or after you came in the window. After, after. Oh, I was I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. But like a shit ugly thing. If you're gonna say something, out with it. Thought you cut your hand. Wait. You dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Yeah, no, I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. Toad. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. I think someone was attacked. This apartment's a goddamn mess, Toad. Looks like after a struggle or a fight. And I don't know why you cover for it. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not... And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. Uh, go back down. Go back down. Go back down. That more blood? No. Just a clean space in the dust. Did you move something? That's where uh, the lamp was. Maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? It's where the lamp was. Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left a tap while running, was here. didn't stop the recycling. What's the point of all this, mate? Really? Why are you getting so upset? Used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. It's my own place. The mark in the Don't dust. you think I'll know what happens in it? Because the lamp was always over here, Toad. It was over here. Now it's there. The space in the dust is from where you well, moved I it. did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? Bloody hell, mate. Come on. Get off with this. Is there anything else I can catch him in a lie with? Something fucking happened here, bro. And 
why is the lock busted? Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. A spot of dust and a broken lock. What are you getting at, mate? Oh, for Christ's sake, the fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Hmm. Then why climb in the window? Why'd you climb in through the window then? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head. That's all it was. I forgot a fucking handle was fucking busted. You're getting pretty you what, upset, buddy. It's embarrassing. You're bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. Big B. Come on, I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... the sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called. Really, I am. But will you please... Please, just bugger off. Not yet. Not yet? No one fought anyone, Bigby. There wasn't any scrap. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In the tell me the truth. Home. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad? Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? You lied, Toad. Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You didn't forget your keys. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me. I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. Take off the hat. <sighs> it was that. Butcher, a, a Tweedle, Dumb or D. You gotta strip them down to their Johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something a woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he put me for? back in. What was he looking for? I have no idea. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, well, Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. <laughs> uh, sometimes? Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. I merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. Ah, the donkey skin. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. What is it? It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? It belongs to Lawrence. We can't open it. Doesn't seem right opening another man's mail. Let's try and give it to him. Okay. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. Take your kid and move. Come to the building. We'll keep you safe. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. Don't stay here. What are you doing, bud? Where's the coat? Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So, the prince is now? Lawrence's. Yep. Yeah. It's our best lead. Our we need to figure out what happened to Faith. Faith. 
Cause you gotta have faith, faith, faith. Way. You gotta have faith, faith, faith. Baby. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Alright, good cop, bad cop. Humor me. Let's focus on what we saw in the mirror. The magic mirror showed me this apartment. I think I saw a knife inside, covered in what looked like blood. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Well, like I said, let's not overcomplicate things. You can question him while I look around for him. And if he objects? We're here on official Fabletown business. And we can be persuasive if necessary. Or you can. What if he's dead? Anything else we can grab? Look at the window. It's slightly open. Um, that's a dead body. Can you hear me? Yeah, that's not good. This is gonna end badly. Can you hear me? I gave you warning, bud. I'm coming in. Yep. Dead bodies. Prince Lawrence is not alive. I think we can open that letter now. Oh my god. Stay with me, man. Hey, hey, stay with me, Lord. Gonna no. be all right. No. Let me go. She. <laughs> what is it that you're telling us? Water. Bigby, water. Kitchen. I'm going. Wish I could fucking walk faster. It's the slowest glass of water you've ever had in your life, buddy. I'm sorry. If you have something to ask him, you should do it now. Who did this to you? Who did this to you? Shit, that's the answer I get. Why would Faith do this? I don't understand. She's dead. Do you still have that letter? Yes. What secrets are you hiding? Should I open it? I'm not sure if it's right. It's your decision. It's your decision. Who would you think is right? I need to know. What does it say? I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Faith. It's only two words. But he died without seeing them. I'm sorry too. We Look need at to her figure being out all what happened here. And secretive and shit. Putting the fucking letter in his hand like he opened it. All right, let's do my let's do my detective work. All right, Lawrence. Gun here. What is it? 
No gunpowder. This gun wasn't fired recently. Maybe a week ago. Or more. Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger. So we got the gun. Pills? Pills here! What are they? Prescription sleeping pills. That doesn't really help. Alright, so that's everything in this little area. The knife. The knife looks special, like it's gotta hold some secret. It's sharp. There's blood on the blade. Is that the same knife you saw in the mirror? Yep. Yeah. I don't know why it's over here. I just don't understand. Why would someone want to kill him? The father would. But he's dead. Blood over here, too. Strange. Hard edge to this pool, like something was here and got moved. Okay, the mattress. They looked happy. When do you think that was taken? Before all this. Bullet hole. Bullet passed through the chair. Yeah, the angle works if he shot himself. Okay. I don't think he shot himself, though. Still a little sticky. Son of a... What in the fuck? What is My that? My dearest Faith, I never meant to hurt you and I cannot endure knowing I have. This was for the best. Start for the bed a little. My dearest Faith, I never meant to hurt you, and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love, your devoted Lawrence. Hopefully they're together now. About all we can hope for at this point. What happens to Fables after they're killed? Got the bullet hole. What's uh what about the kitchen? Anything in here? Another note. Pay the rent next week. Pizza in the fridge. Please don't look for me. Whoa. So they had they went their separate ways. It's on the bookcase. Second hand paperbacks. Old encyclopedias. Dusty. No one's read these in a while. Holy shit! Stay here! <laughs> 